Hi guys, welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea. So today I decided to do a reading on the beautiful Rihanna. I mean, come on, the woman is beautiful. Let's just say that, right? Um, I decided to do a reading on her because I wanted to do a few light readings before I get back into my heavy readings that I will be doing. So thank you guys for all of your love and support. I appreciate it. My channel, I'm going to be very patient with it. I'm sure it will grow over time. But I do this because I really want to, you know, do these personal readings on these celebrities. So I hope you guys enjoy my readings. But let's do Rihanna. I'm really curious about her. Um, so before I get started, I'm going to read her chart. Pretty much what I do is I pull energy from their chart and I read on their card, uh, on the cards that come out through their energy and whatever God wants me to know about these people, these celebrities, I always speak only from that, that type of place, okay? So Rihanna is a Pisces, as we all know, a lot of us know. Um, her moon is in Aries, her Mercury is in Aquarius, her Venus is in Aries, and her Mars is in Sagittarius, and her rising is in Aries. So instantly what I'm pulling from Rihanna is I feel she battles with this with her energy a lot of wanting to be assertive and wanting to be chill. Like I feel like she all the time is very assertive to the point because she does have but she's she does have her Mercury in Aquarius. But I feel like she has a lot of fire in her chart that tends to make her come off very abrupt to the point even though she doesn't want to be abrupt and to the point. I feel like even when she speaks to, um, she can be very careful with her words, not in like a, like a Virgo type of way, but she just likes to sound very original, um, not unoriginal, what I was going to say, very original with the way she speaks with that Mercury and Aquarius. She sounds very, um, very, I want to say like, this has to do with, of course, we all know she's from, Barbados and you know I feel like that plays her accent how she's kept her accent it's what drives her to sound different and I think it has to do with that Mercury in Aquarius not her accent because that's where she's from but the fact that she hasn't tried to get rid of her accent that's very much um she feels like it's a part of her I feel from her energy and she's I feel from her guys that she's made it a point to I want to say even make her accent and keep making it thick like because she likes that it sets her apart from everybody else she likes doing things that are different than what everybody else is doing but more so i feel from her that she likes speaking and addressing people and processing information in ways that people don't think about and that's very aquarius of her um but i feel from her just without even reading the cards yet i'm feel for, feeling from her energy that she very much likes to She's made it a point to keep her accent. I don't know why I just heard that, but she did. She at first thought about, I'm feeling from her, she thought about getting rid of it, but then she's like, no, but that makes me who I am. So why would I get rid of it? You know what I mean? So I think in a sense, she's actually worked on making her accent a bit thicker than, you know, over time, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but not to the point where we can't understand her. You know what I mean? Like, She's made it a point to um, make sure that her, the way she speaks sets her apart from everyone else. I feel like that's a big thing for Rihanna. I feel like she really takes pride in where she comes from, her country, and um, I feel like she really values her her accent and the way she speaks because that's what makes her different than everyone else so I just wanted to talk about that and um yeah so I hope you guys <laughs> didn't mind me spilling on that but that's and it, honestly that is the first thing I pulled from her wasn't her Pisces energy it was actually interestingly enough it was her Mercury and Aquarius she really takes pride in the way she speaks because it sets her apart from everyone else and I feel like that's a big thing for her because especially being a you know a black woman a black woman you know it's like if she were to have like a British accent <laughs> she really has made it a point to rep where she comes from basically so anyway I just wanted to touch on that um so door to personal healing and happiness I feel like Rihanna right now 
I don't know if she's on vacation, but I feel like she is taking this time to really separate herself from what's going on. I feel like a lot of things that are going on in the world today are really affecting her. And that's not even a stretch to say that because that it's affecting all of us. But this stuff really affects her. It, it affects her to the point, what's going on in the world, it really affects her to the point where there are times where she really, really feels off balance. Um, and she's constantly, I'm feeling from her with the yin, yin, yin yang, excuse me, yin yang uh, card that came out. This is also Pisces energy. Uh, so Pisceans are all about duality. Um, they're all about, in, and she's a rising in, uh, oh, no, 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 sorry, rising in Aries. I, I know I was thinking of oh, another reading I just did. Um, I thought she was, I was going to say she's a rising in Libra, but she's not. Um, anyway, so there's definitely, I feel from her, she very spiritually, she needs to go into herself. She really needs to take this, she needs She's that type of person that likes to take vacations very spur of the moment. She doesn't like planning a lot of things I'm seeing, she, especially with the, all that Aries in her chart. And she has Sag in her chart too. So especially when things are going wrong like in the world, I'm sensing because she's so sensitive to the, like the way the world, the feelings and the emotions of the world, she really needs to go into herself. But it's kind of hard for her to do that because she does have all that Aries and Sag in her chart. So it's really hard for her to do that, I'm sensing. But she likes to go off and travel. She likes to go take vacations. Um, she likes to go back to Barbados. She likes to do things like that. And and really, um, that's how she, re she centers herself. By taking trips, traveling. I don't know if Rihanna goes to church, but I'm also hearing that. I also, my eye goes to the dove, so I don't know if Rihanna has like a, like a, um, like a dove tattoo or she's attracted to doves or the purity of a dove, something like that. That's what I just heard. Also, I'm hearing that when Rihanna goes on these trips, a lot of, um, not only does she like traveling, but that really heals her. Um, and it helps her get back to being centered because she tends to be a person that I don't get a lot of chaos from her energy, but what I do get is she really has to work on centering herself. She really has to work on, cause she gets so caught up in what is going on in the world, being a Pisces. She gets so caught up in what's going on in the world. She gets so caught up in her family's emotions, what's going on with her family, Things like that really affect Rihanna and her business. So she loses focus a lot of times with, um, it's really hard because she has a higher degree in her Aries in her moon placement than in her sun placement. So um, I'm getting the sense from her that it's really hard for her to rein in and to channel her pipe, her, to rein herself in one. And it's really hard for her to channel her, um, her Pis Piscean energy. Um, but it's saying that she really tries to make this a thing, a, a duality thing. She tries to always find the balance of, you know, um, healing and too much or things, thing, things that are too much for her, things that are, I just keep hearing she, she tries to find a balance between good and bad, overindulging and not overindulging stuff like that like she's always trying to find the balance and she sees things actually she sees things very black and white especially with rights and what is wrong and right in the world I heard that too uh, to bounce off what I just said and I do feel like um with this card she's a combination of water and fire obviously being a Pisces but she enjoys she enjoys being calm she enjoys being by water she enjoys serenity but at the same time she gets bored of it very easily she needs the excitement that you know like fire brings about she needs that type of excitement because she does get bored very easily with that mars and sagittarius too she does um so i don't know if rihanna has a lot of things that are tying her up right now but i feel as well she feels bounded to her past a lot I feel she is constantly, I keep saying this for her, but she constantly is trying to find her, her center, what makes her happy. She's trying to always rein it in. 
She's always trying to rein it in. And that's why Rihanna goes on all these trips. Why we hear about her traveling a lot. She goes, she needs that. Also, a woman holding a heart in the reverse. So what I'm pulling from Rihanna is she's someone that she gives her heart very... I don't want to say she gives her heart easily. She's more so of a person that, like, she does, she can give her heart easily, but more so she, she lusts after people. She She's the type of person that would rather just have, she can have one night stands and not get caught up. She can have, like, she breaks a lot of people's hearts. She breaks hearts. I don't have the heart break heart heartbroken card up here, but she breaks hearts. She She tends to break a lot of people's hearts that she dates. Um, she doesn't like being the one, of course, who does. She doesn't like being the one that gets her heart broken, so she tries to, with her Mars and Sagittarius, like, she tries to book it out of there before she gets her heart broken. She also does, she does tend to give her heart, though, and when she does, that's when I'm seeing that, unfortunately, it doesn't always go her way, so she tends to try to, um, break the heart of other people before they can break her heart. I am getting that from her. She has a lot of things though that are binding her to her past. A lot of she has a lot of baggage that she holds on to. I'm seeing. Um, I'm also feeling like the whole thing with um, I mean, who wouldn't be affected by this? But the whole thing I hate to bring him up, but the whole thing with Chris Brown, it still really affects her. Um, of course, you know why wouldn't it? But it still really affects her. But she has very bad attachment issues. She has very bad attachment issues. Even though she tends to not want to get... She tends to not want to get her heart broken. She tends to um, try to book it out of there before she gets her heart broken. But I am hearing that when she is in a relationship, she has very bad attachment issues. Like she gets bounded to this person. She gets... She ties herself to this person. So, I'm also hearing that she has to continuously learn the same lesson over and over again with the people she dates. So, woman holding a coin and woman holding a heart. I am seeing these two come out. Again, like I said, I already addressed the woman holding a heart. But I am also feeling from her that she tends... I'm not hearing that there's a problem with her money. I'm not hearing that. What I'm hearing from her is that... She spends her money on trips that help her, you know, one, I'm hearing that, that she likes to spend her money on trips. She loves getting away. I feel like Rihanna also has a spending problem. I feel like she overindulges in spending. She'll just like, and that's how she deals with a lot of her emotions. I feel like she has a lot of, with the attachment card, I feel like she has a lot of voids that she needs to patch up that she's bounded to i also feel like she i feel like this is saying she has an addiction to shopping something about shopping she has an addiction to shopping and she tends to spend her money um she tends to she tends to spend more money than what she earns she doesn't have a problem with money like getting money she she has a spending problem that's what i'm hearing she spends her money on just a lot of things she blows her money Also, I feel like she can tend to be very codependent on the men she dates. Um, and also very, when she does get into a relationship, when she does get attached to them, she tends to really get attached to these men and she spends her, and she blows her money on them too. And her family. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... But I feel like when she does go on these vacations, like I keep saying for her, she does, she is able to heal herself. She is able to come back and realize what wasn't important and her addictions and her attachments. I feel like more so shopping is an addiction for her. I am feeling that energy for her that she just blows her money. And that's like the way she feels her void, like she feels the void, you know, whatever's going wrong in her life. I keep going back to this all tied up card, so I just feel like Rihanna has a lot of hang-ups. Like, a lot of hang-ups. And I say that respectfully. 
I don't know how you can say that respectfully, but I'm trying to. <laughs> I think also she's very attracted to, this is very Piscean of her, the illusions of things. Not really seeing people for who they are. She makes excuses, I feel like, for the people in her life. So whomever is around Rihanna right now, she's feeling very bounded and attached to them. I don't know if she's still dating that one guy or if this is some people in her life that are friends or something. It doesn't have to be a guy. Because whoever it is, it is throwing her off. It's throwing her off. It's blocking her from seeing the truth. I am feeling. So that's the energy I'm pulling with my energy cards for Rihanna. So let's see what her personality is like. As I was thinking this, Nine of Cups, Rihanna is a very loving person. She's a very giving person. You know, she likes, um, like I said, she likes spending her money she likes buying trips. I am hearing she likes taking her family and out on trips. She likes doing very extravagant things with her family. Um, she likes Ten of Cups. This almost did come out in the reverse. Um, but there is a part of Rihanna that... I don't know. Even though I'm going to go with the reverse for this one. She's not really happy. There, like I said, there. I'm pulling this energy from her that there's a like she has a void. Like there's something missing for her. She feels like there's something missing in her life. She doesn't like even though she has money. I'm feeling like it's love. Like Rihanna just doesn't like she has this overwhelming. I'm feeling from her this over over this overwhelming desire to be loved. She like it's like a drug for her. Like she she craves it. But once she, but she has attachment issues at the same time. Like, I am seeing that. She doesn't, she doesn't really like getting attached to people. But when she does, it's a problem. Because she doesn't attach. She attaches way too much. And she doesn't let go. Okay, so she has, um. So the uh, Queen of Swords just came out for her. Rihanna is definitely a person that, that's her, I feel like this is her Mercury in Aquarius. She's very, um, when, when Rihanna speaks, she's very assertive and very sure of herself, but she's very, um, to the point, to the point, but not to the point where it's hurtful. She's very careful and she's logically thought a lot of what she wants to say out. She's very much a person that's in her head. And she doesn't like when her emotions start overruling her communication. She doesn't like that. So when she speaks, Rihanna sounds very detached, very dry, I'm sensing from her. And a lot of times, I'm pulling the energy from Rihanna that people can tend to think of, can think Rihanna's a bitch. But she's not trying, and I, and I shouldn't say, I shouldn't use that word for her. But that's what I heard. Like, people think that, respectfully, they think Rihanna is a bitch because of the way she says things she doesn't she's not like a mercury and fire but there's just this way where rihanna speaks and she comes off very detached and cold that's what i'm sensing from her like there's no emotion behind her words but rihanna is a very emotional person she's a very passionate person i do feel that from her she's a very passionate person yeah as i said that ace of cups She's always someone that loves to, she loves love. She loves to give love. Does she like getting attached in relationships? No, she can tend to be the heartbreaker. Rihanna's the mother, I'm trying not to cuss. <laughs> Rihanna's the heartbreaker. She's the heartbreaker in a lot of um, her relationships with people. But also because she is so afraid to get hurt. She's so afraid to get hurt. But she has a lot of love to give. She has a lot of love to give, I'm feeling from her. But a lot of times she gives so much of her love away that she feels drained. She feels very unhappy. She feels very drained. And also, she gets in her head a lot, I'm hearing. She's always in her head about her emotions. Like, she'll feel all these emotions, but you won't know. She won't tell you. And also, she'll wait. I keep thinking about when, she, when, they, when the paparazzi caught her yelling at her boyfriend. Like, she'll wait till it, like, blows up. 
she'll wait i mean she'll wait till she blows up she'll wait till it builds up is what i'm trying to say she'll wait till it builds it it builds up and then she like then you start to see it you're like oh you do you do have emotions you do feel pisces and she's like well yeah i do you know but in her mind she's thinking she's getting these emotions off when she gets angry she waits i'm hearing she waits till she's angry until she can't take it anymore then she blows up but she doesn't like communicating when she's upset she hates it she actually runs when she runs from it she runs five of wands in the reverse like i said yeah she does not like confrontation she hates it but also because she does have that moon in aries so she likes to feel her emotions and move on mars and sagittarius likes to feel her emotions and she likes to move on you know but after that, she will come back and express to you how she's feeling. Six of Wands in the reverse. There is a lot of love around Rihanna. A lot of her fans are so in love with her. I didn't want to say obsessed. So in love with her. She rarely has people that fake idolize her. There are also a lot of people around Rihanna that are very honest with her. That's what I'm hearing. Very loving, very supportive. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And this, I feel like, is because she didn't have the best upbringing growing up. I feel like she she might have a good relationship with her mom, maybe. This could also be her mother. Her mother could have been very direct with her to the point. I don't know what her mom is, but very direct with her, very to the point, very logical when she spoke to her. Very tough love type of woman. Very tough love, I hear. Um, but Rihanna doesn't like toxic people around her she sees it right away i'm i'm hearing she does not have patience for people that are um that could even that even give her the energy of being a hater or someone that doesn't support her or is she she really does not have any toxic people around her she doesn't have any manipulative people around her um i did i do hear though that rihanna had to learn to drop a lot of her unhealthy attachments yeah, the world card just came out. She really had to work on this. She really had to work on ending a lot of her toxic, um, like, ways. And the and she got rid of a lot of people that were toxic in her team. She does not talk to a lot of people from her past that were toxic, like, done. Like, she, also I'm feeling from her, she has learned to cut people off that don't benefit her in the way that don't support her and she's very um on guard she's a very on guard person that must be the fire in her chart she's very on guard very defensive and she's an aries rising oh my god very defensive very like i said what i said type of energy even if she doesn't say it because she is in her head a lot especially when she gets angry or emotional But this is when she has to express her emotions to, I'm hearing. Rihanna gets very on guard. She doesn't like, exp oh my god, I just felt it. She doesn't like expressing her emotions. Like, she's just like, like, she does not like it. And she'll wait till the moment passes. She'll try to wait till the moment passes. Um, but sometimes I'm hearing that it doesn't always work out in her favor, so she has to express it. Because she, she can emperor in the upright she can get very abrasive and she's just very like when something is bothering her although she can run from it she's a person that confronts at the same time ironically but she's very controlling she's a very she's very controlling um the two of wands she can be very in i get this energy from her too she's very indec indecisive when she uh when she's trying to confront people or if she's deciding to confront people she doesn't like walking away from people too again i he keep hearing for her attachments like she has attachment problems um seven of cups she caught she she causes illusions around people that's so pisces she causes illusions around people and she doesn't like expressing um or, or seeing people, actually seeing people for who they are when she is in a relationship with them. 
or like she'll wait like usually she it gets till it gets to the point where it's too late i'm hearing for her when and then it gets bad and she has to get crazy and stuff but she'll she'll cause illusions around people she won't make a final decision on people ace of wands so i don't sense any projects right now going on for rihanna but let's look more into that I feel like right now, currently, she's working on healing herself and working on, like my card said, like she's working on healing herself. She's working on recentering herself. So let's see if she's going to come out with music before I end this video. So the page of wand just came out in the upright. So we'll see what that's about. So what is going on around Rihanna's music? Can we expect new music from her? A lot of fans are waiting for her to drop new music. A lot of fans. They're waiting on it. You guys are waiting on it. She did get the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. So let's see what else that's about. So what does Rihanna have in the works for us? Career-wise, what can we expect from Rihanna? That was a really bad trouble. What does Rihanna have in the works for us? Project-wise, let's do one more shuffle after this one. So the three of pentacles just came out so that's good um i am seeing that rihanna will there will be some opportunities arising for um rihanna so she is in the works of right now i get more so her fans are waiting they're waiting to see if she's going to drop new music um but i'm also hearing that rihanna does have some projects in the work works for us um more stuff with her fenty makeup is coming out I feel like um, she's really hard at work. Like even if she is on vacation right now, or she's in this, wherever she is, there is still work. She, there is still work getting done. She is still working on her. I know she did, she has a lingerie line too, a Fenty lingerie line or something. It's called Savage, I think. Um, but more stuff for that will be coming out. I don't know. If she just dropped something actually for Valentine's Day. I haven't looked on her Instagram, so I don't know. Um, but I'm hearing something like that like or some sale she's gonna mark some stuff off for her like she's gonna do something for Valentine's Day uh, today or it's already been going on uh, but I am seeing her hard at work but I'm more so getting that Rihanna will have more opportunities presented to her that's what I'm hearing She also could be in the studio working, but let's see what else comes out. What else, what does Rihanna have in store for us? What does Rihanna have in store for us? So yeah, I'm just seeing that Rihanna is just focusing a lot on her healing right now. She is having opportunities presented to her, but Rihanna isn't really feeling like she can trust people right now for some reason. And she's trying to gain happiness back into her life or she's trying to stay at this very happy place in her life right now. Like, I don't sense that she's like she's um, unhappy, but there is some type of void missing and she knows that. So I don't know if she's seeking. I heard counseling. I don't know if she's going to a therapist. I don't know if she's going seeking counseling, which is nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Um... But there's a lot of things from her childhood that I'm hearing that she's trying to patch up. A lot of things that she's trying to come out of and not be so attached to. She, They take her to this kind of like dark place when she thinks about it a lot. It's a lot of things from her childhood and a lot of healing that she's trying to get back into her life. Like I was saying, I was seeing that for her. She's trying to gain 
duality balance back into her life um, or keep that at least. So I'm trying to find my other card. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely where she is. Door to personal healing and happiness. Like she's trying to stay in her element of being happy. She's trying to figure out what can fill this can fulfill this void. I also don't know if Rihanna's addicted to sex. I hate to throw that out there, but I'm wondering. That's what I just heard. If she uses sex as a form of not control, but to feel like she's feeling of fulfilling a void. Let's say allegedly. Allegedly. Eight of Pentacles. But yeah, she's working on building her brand, building her empire. King of Pentacles. Something about Rihanna having a spending problem. I think she I don't think money's bad for her. I think she has a spending problem, and that's part of what she uses to uh, fill her void in sex, I think. So you guys will start to see that I'm going to pull the Three of Wands coming up for her traveling. I believe her birthday is coming up on February 20th, and she goes all out for her birthday, which is why I kept pulling her yeah, traveling. I I don't, like I was saying, I don't know if Rihanna is traveling right now, or she's going on vacation, or something like that, but this is my travel card. She just... I'm feeling like she's she's growing, and she's learning a lot, too, from her experiences, and... I feel like, I don't know, I'm wondering if Rihanna's seeing a therapist, if she's seeking help for her issues and she's trying to not, you know, she's trying to be trusting again because she's not very trusting. She's very on, she's a very on defense person. So wherever she is, I'm seeing that she's somewhere, she could be traveling somewhere or she'd be, she could be at a, like a retreat or something like that, her retreat, some type of retreat, safe haven even type of energy I get from her because she's definitely and and this um this could definitely stand for like I don't want to say rehab because I don't know if it's rehab it could be um also or it could be like a type of retreat church retreat something like that or just a retreat where it helps her heal but she's all about her healing right now there she's realizing there's a lot going on with herself um, and the fact that she's too giving, she's very giving, she's a very giving person, but I am seeing with the Ace of Pentacles, right now she isn't working on anything as far as her music, I'm not hearing that yet, I'm hoping, I know that they said that there's, she is going to drop an album or something like that, but I'm, I, I, and I did pull the Ace of Pentacles, but I'm not seeing it get released anytime soon. Now, she could change. She could change it. But I, I'm, I'm feeling like there's a lot of pushback with that, which is why I'm saying I don't really see any music coming out right now. She could be working on music. I did kind of say that with the Three of Pentacles. But I'm more so hearing that there are opportunities being presented to her. But Rihanna probably is always working on music. But I'm not feeling like we're going to get that album anytime soon as of now. But she is putting work towards her project. She is, I'm, I'm feeling like she's focusing a lot on her makeup and her lingerie line. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, she's, she's putting in a lot of work on that. But also I'm feeling like mainly Rihanna is just working on her happiness and working on gaining balance back into her life. So... Will she give us music? I'm hoping so. Oh my god, I've been wanting new music from her. But right now, I'm not seeing music come out right now. Is she probably working on new music? Maybe. But more so, I feel her focus is on her happiness right now. Because I feel like there's a void that Rihanna is feeling like she's missing. And she's trying to gain back that so she can go create music. Or put in work towards her projects. But I did hear from somewhere that she's supposed to come out with an album. But right now, I'm not seeing that currently right now, right now. I don't know if there was a pushback or what's going on with that. Or she's just being very hard on herself about it. Or it's just she just really wants to focus on that and kind of work on her music. But I'm not really getting the sense that that's going to come out right now. But I do see something is in the works for sure. Whatever that is, she is working. But also she's focusing on, I feel more so from her energy currently. Guys, keep in mind tarot can change. Um, keep, um, just keep in mind that, but I am feeling right now she's just trying to heal and gain balance back into her life and do what makes her happy. 
So I, again, I don't know if she's seeing a therapist or a counselor, but I did hear that or some type of mentor, um, or it could be her mom, you know? So anyway, that was my reading on Rihanna. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, next more readings coming out soon. Uh, this was Sade's Tarot Tea and Love and Light.